husbandos and waifus what's going on my name is Hermzar and welcome to another live reaction review of Tower of God so this is late because of of course you guys know I had work earlier I'm working every day now yay money because we get to upgrade our goddamn equipment as you guys can see but also I was waiting for some stuff to get approved there are so many factors into this video I've been getting comments of people still upset about me uploading late so I really do appreciate that you guys still come through hang on and, and wait for your boy i appreciate it really i truly do but anyways my boys today we're here for some more tower of god there was a lot of shit that went down in the last episode has me a little bit worried will coon be able to handle everything we don't know they're going up against a test administrator but at the same time bam is working with rachel or i should go with michelle let's see what happens here my boys and dorsey's best girl by the way there's this filter on instagram that crunchyroll has you could go on there on instagram and look for it but pretty much it pretty much pairs you up with a teammate so i got in dorsey and i got homeboy with the fucking the one i said bam was weak but now he'd be sweating whenever he calls upon shinsu so i thought that was really really cool but anyways my boys we're here for some more tower of god let's fucking go you know me liking the song people started asking me if i like stray kids i don't really have an opinion on stray kids this is the only stray kids song i know this one in the ending now we about to see how coon handling the situation we don't even know <laughs> it's like Bulbasaur's vine whip. <laughs> it was a good plan, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you would think because he's a ranker, he has to be really, really easy on them, but his patience is admirable. I still think he's struggling, but he's, he seems like he's trying to help him out a little bit. Why? I wonder why he chose 111 seconds, though. A full two minutes is 120 seconds. So he's going off of, off of 1 minute 51 seconds? But why? <laughs> That's such a random number to go by. <laughs> he's dead ass counting. Quan may be an idiot, but he's still a ranker. Would Kuhn really come up with such a tri strategy? I think it's even more strange that he went for 111 seconds. I mean, I guess 111. Yeah, I'm sure he got something up his sleeve. See, look, he's smirking. That means he got something up his sleeve. We can't count him out yet. Ours is clearly full of trash. And he's looking at Bam. Seems like he doesn't know the power of our boy Bam, though. This motherfucker. Look at him trying to get into her, into her JJ, but she's like, nope. Let me talk to the guy you're talking shit to <laughs> see i'd be mad too because he clearly has a snack in front of him but he's asking for rachel stop it stop it you got endorsing right next to you my boy man she has a very powerful team though i mean we also gotta think bam also has a powerful team himself we got fucking coon and rock the god yeah definitely coon thinks something's going to happen here he wouldn't give them this time you wouldn't give him 111 seconds just to just to get to the top. He look, homeboy's fast. He left a trail of himself. Not a trail, a delay. I should say a delay. Dude, we just gotta trust in that lolly for once. When you hear footsteps, when you hear nothing but footsteps, you know some shit's about to go down. Look at that. That silence. Professor Quaint. He's literally te teaching them how to fight properly too. Homeboy got Shinsu all around him. And he just used dive. He dove deep into whatever that is. Oh, fuck, dude. That's not fair. He got mad delay that he's fast. His internet's probably better than all of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's, hold on, guys. Go back a little bit. Look. We just saw Homeboy fall, right? See? Look. Homeboy falls, and then spears drop down. Aren't they wary that they might hit a comrade? <laughs> sacrificial pawns. Just sacrificial pawns. Oh, see, now, you know this guy's fucking dumb. He goes straight into the pitch darkness. Ooh! Yo, Hulk smash, bro! Pretending to be a scout. He's a spear. He's one of the spear guys. Yeah, spear belongs in your hand, but does it really make that much of a difference? Does that spear give you, like, power up? Like, it gives you a difference in numbering in, in your stats, is what I'm asking. That makes sense? Fuck, he had... Dude, that was fucked up. He had the wind... He had the little wind blown out of him. What the fuck? And now, since he's bent over like that, look, he's smiling at his ass. <laughs> and they're shooting Shinsu right at him. What the fuck? They shot Shinsu right at the comrade. If Team A wins, you'll fail the position selection test. I'm sure the handsome Laro and the plain gloomy girl will pass. It better be, will you be my waifu? Because obviously, in Dorsey, dude. Okay, she's at the top. Run. Yo, wait, hold on. You know, they have this little girl. Wait. <laughs> and this guy. <laughs> but hold on. Hold on. How strong is this little girl? <laughs> I'd be I'd be damned if he's stronger than Omi over here. He'll pass regardless of the test results. God damn. He's that strong? Killer Arch, let's go! It's so close. 
Yeah, don't underestimate Blue Turtle! Don't underestimate my comrade. Blue Turtle got it. See? Rack knows. Yo, that little lolly say, Ed's right behind you! <laughs> he is a little redhead, I guess. <laughs> oh, man! Oh, we didn't get to do shit! Is this part of Coon's plan? <laughs> Are even Ranker scared to die from this height? Oh, shit, she is down there. I thought he was just bluffing and put her in the bag. This is how you deceive their it. <laughs> Coon is so cheeky, dude. Oh, fuck! Yo, this man cheating! Yo, I bet you Coon, th Coon thought of this already. Coon already knows! Are you trying to die? <laughs> Coon's down, bro! Oh, let's go! <laughs> Is Rack sleeping? Oh, they're all sleeping. <laughs> Boo, bull, cut, bastard. Team A has lost? What? What? Did Laro win it? Harvey say it? Wait. Yeah, we have to admit, his strategy was really, really good. Ah, uh, they're bringing up Kuhn. Shibisu's a good boy. <laughs> Stop it. Shibisu. Was it him that helped them out? Oh, see, he helped them out. What? Oh, so he's doing this for the sake of Bam. Because obviously, Kuhn is going to pass regardless. Dude, I wish I could get a six-pack like Rack and eat all that chocolate. I just get diabetes. Dead ass. This is Kuhn's real team. Dude, Kuhn! Kuhn is smart as fuck, dude! So that's his squad right there? <laughs> of course he's mad. Yo, wait, hold on. You know what's so funny about this guy right here? I just realized he has, like, the, the, old, the slash like Zoro. He has the outfit like Zoro from One Piece. These two are my favorite. So obviously he knows that's Rachel. Oh my god! They're simps just like Bam! This is all according to their plan. Dude, I'm just, dude, honestly though, Kuhn be playing big, big brain games, dude. 69 million IQ to Kuhn right now. Holy fuck, a ranker was on the ship. And Matt, oh fuck! Oh shit! Dude, I'd be freaking out too. <laughs> did they try, did they try challenging him? Here we go, here we go! <laughs> they got blown back. Wait, wait, and Darcy? Wait, what's her plan? What? What the fuck? I'm so confused. But uh, of course, we're going to have to wait till the next episode for that to be explained to me. But first thing that I should I feel like I should uh, I should honestly uh, clear up. I I recognize that the anime is a lot faster than the webcomic cuz I already said that they already took out a few things from the webcomic into the anime. But I think and the pacing is a lot faster, but I'm just saying as an anime the pacing is slower to for us to understand compared to most people with short attention spans but yes the anime's pacing is a lot faster than the webcomic for people who didn't think i didn't understand that i do understand that in regards to this episode uh, there was a lot that was going on especially with kun's strategy and i loved his strategy the test administrator said he didn't betray his team this is kun's real team and it showed a list of all of kun's friends make 10 friends within a week and his 10 friends are the people that are on his side in the Shibisu, Pony Fifth Bam, Panseca Lare, Laro, or however you say it, Serena Linen. He has in Dorsey, Rack, Ho, Coon, and Hot. Yeah, that's definitely like a very, very solid team. We don't know who the 10th person, well, the 10th person, is it considered him? I, I don't think he has uh, Rachel on there, but definitely I'm glad that he has in Dorsey because obviously in Dorsey's the best girl. Bam! How could you miss that? Fuck! Rachel and Darcy was sitting next to you. She trying to help you out or some shit, dude. I hate that guy that was like, we got trash and he looked at Bam. Man, man, what the fuck? You don't know Bam? Bam's the goat. But I think uh, what was really, really cool about this episode was just Kuhn's fucking brain, dude. Kuhn's plan. It was so clutch. I cannot lie. Oh, you know what? Who you know who could be on the tenth one? It's probably uh, a knock because I don't see a knock on here. So a knock might be the tenth person. So regardless, Kuhn got his team. He Kuhn already knows who he wants to team with. He already knows who he's gonna work with. I just I just love that concept because he already knew like because at first everyone looks at it as, at it like oh my god Kuhn he fucking betrayed his team but he technically did it. He just knew who was who was going to pass and. I guess that was him doing his job and researching people, but overall him just kind of deciphering who he know who he knew was going to pass 
and he made it eligible so that Bam can pass because there's no way Bam is going to pass if they win. So that's honestly what Kuhn wanted. He wants Bam to climb the tower alongside with him. So I love it, man. Fucking Kuhn's a good boy. I like Hots. Hots is a very, very powerful guy. And I, I, I don't know. There's something about him. And Shibisu is just a great character. He's like that character that is just, he's like the comedic, the, the, the comedy break, but I like him a lot. Anyways, overall, really good episode of Tower of God. Can't wait for the next one. Really, really dope. By the way, people who are asking for Plunderer, that goes up on Thursday. So just be, just be a little bit patient and you guys will get that. So anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys go and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot. Subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell, my boys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.